You're watching Hollywood One on One, presented by Star Wars Entertainment TV. Hi, this is Tyrone Tan with Star Wars Entertainment TV, and we're here at the Universal Hilton in Los Angeles, California, for the 20th annual Movie Guide Awards. So check us out here as we interview a lot of the celebrities, nominees, and award winners and guests here on the 20th annual Movie Guide Awards on Star Wars Entertainment TV. Hi, this is Tyrone Tan with Star Wars Entertainment TV, and we're here now with award-winning filmmakers Alex Kinder, Kevin Downs, Robert Amaya, and Rich Peluso. Now, obviously, I had an opportunity to talk to you guys before before the awards. Now, winning this, what does this mean to you to to win the Epiphany Award? Well, certainly very encouraging. Uh, we're grateful for the support Movie Guys given us for you know movies that uh, want to change the culture and want to uh, call families to a, a, a closer relationship, not only with each other, but with the Lord. So uh, very encouraging for us. And yourself? Uh, well, it's, it's very encouraging. It's an honor to receive uh, this particular award, and it uh, just shows that um, audiences have really been responding to this film in a positive way. And I, I know we got two more here, but not 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 least. <laughs> now you know what? It's a great honor to be able to receive this award. Um, if anything, it also shows us how there is a, a public out there that's really searching for meaning. There are men out there that are really searching for God, searching for truth, and they're just trying to be better men and in better dads. And I'm glad a film comes along like Courageous that can try to help in that category. And you you got two awards for two different films. That's got to mean a lot. Well, I, it does mean a lot. But what means the most to me is. Uh, is to be able to work on pictures that um, honor God and uh, and make an impact in people's lives and still seem to permeate Hollywood. People will, you know, bring their families and come out and sit in a movie theater and be impacted by these stories and buy DVDs. It's just it's it amazes me because 10, 15 years ago it was just so unusual to find these stories that, that honored God and delivered a life-changing message be embraced by so many people. And uh, it, it's just an honor and humbling to be part of a team that gets to work with people that tell those stories and attract hearts, you know, to hear stories. Because I believe that's how, you know, that's how God communicates to people. If, if the king of the universe, if Jesus gets questioned by his disciples, why are you, why do you tell stories? And he says, this is how I can, this is how lives are changed. Uh, then, you know, I think it's it's a great honor to be able to emulate uh, Jesus by being storytellers and bring stories to people that change lives. So I'm just thrilled to be here. Now, Alex, this is, I don't know, you, you've done a, a quite a number of movies. And each one has escalated bigger, bigger, and even almost more powerful. And obviously it's personal for each person. Where do you come up with the ideas? Is it people that come to you? Is it something that you... Uh, and your brother think of or is it something that um, you know that just the Lord tells you at one point like how does that come about that's something I always curious when when you when you do these films uh, what we do is go through what we call a season of prayer and we'll go through that season is sometimes it's six months to a year and it's usually near the end of that season that the Lord begins turning our hearts toward a certain theme uh, or, or a certain truth that we're, we're supposed to uh, to focus on and whether it's marriage or fatherhood something like that and then we begin building around that theme uh, and direction and so far as we've prayed he's made it pretty clear uh, what direction to go awesome and you two as actors this is your if i correct me if i'm your first involvement in in, in the in the sherwood pictures movie what was it like for you as an actor to going through that struggle of that character um that a lot of people can identify with um and with both your characters but for you going from the spiral and then you know uh, going back to your faith what was it for you like how did you feel as an actor well it was wonderful to um you know work in an environment where uh you know alex allowed me to explore uh, a little bit uh who this character was uh, and most importantly i wanted to make shane relatable uh, to people out there because we all struggle with making right and wrong choices and um you know they did such a good job in crafting this screenplay uh, that Shane could be relatable to people out there. So, um, you know, as well as, uh, you know, the set of Courageous was one of unity. And so everybody, everybody was unified in the call to make this incredible film because each day we would come and we would start the day with prayer. And uh, so our hearts were focused. Uh, they were focused on the Lord and uh, they were focused on uh, the work that was ahead each day. And so uh, I think it's what makes Sherwood and, and their sets very unique. And yourself as an actor. Yeah, you know, um, 
Two and a half years ago, my daughter was born. And uh, I spent a lot of that first year trying to figure out and stumbling like crazy, but trying to figure out how to be a dad. And uh, when Courageous came around, I mean, it just opened my eyes to, uh, to the meaning of the word dad, of the word father. Um, so when I started working on the set, you know, like Kevin said, it, it, there was so much prayer and there was just such great unity. But for me personally, to see these other fathers like the Kendrick brothers, Michael Catt, executive producer, all these other dads, you know, Ken Bevel, the other actor on the film, um, Kevin, uh, you know, to see these guys roll around the ground, you know, with their kids and, and love on their wives the way they were loving on their families, it was such a great example for me. And so I tried so much to absorb that and bring that back home. And, and that's how it changed my life. And I got to have the honor of talking to you guys earlier. Anything to piggyback on now, winning this award, it means a lot more, possibly. Anything to piggyback on, on inspiring others that want to do what you guys do? And, you know, it's, it's so not only courageous, but as well as just faith-driven to, to do what you're doing. Sure. Uh, it's something we, we're sharing out there. We believe whoever wants the next generation the most will get them. So uh, we want to use this avenue, making movies, telling stories, um, to try to uh, remind the next generation that there's a God who loves them, wants a relationship with them, and that uh, we can't do anything higher than devote our lives to Him, commit our ways to Him, and, uh, and have Him to use our lives. We, you know, whether it's in media, movies, or any other field, and so if, uh, you know, that, that would be the, mess, the main message we would tell them. God loves you. Uh, there is salvation through Jesus Christ, and if, if you commit your way to the Lord, then He'll direct your steps. Well said. Again, I want to wish each and every one of you, seriously, sincere congratulations. Uh, honored to be here to, to, to tell you that in person, and what an honor, uh, seriously, deeply, personally, that each one of your movies and this particular movie meant um, to me, to a lot of people that I know. I know you've impacted uh, a lot of people, you know, uh, and, and it is truly, God is, has a lot of favor in you. I, I pray that God continues that favor on all you guys. Again, thank, thank you. you congratulations much. again. Thank you again. This is Tyrone Tan with Robert Amaya. Rich Pelusa, Kevin Downs, Alex Kindred. And you're watching Star Wars Entertainment TV. So check out more episodes as we interview a lot more celebrities, award winners, and nominees and guests here at the 20th annual Movie Guide Awards on Star Wars Entertainment TV.